When one person suffers from a delusion, it is called insanity. When many people suffer from a delusion it is called a religion. The place to improve the world is first in one's own heart and head and hands, and then work outward from there. The truth knocks on the door and you say, go away, I'm looking for the truth, and so it goes away. Puzzling. You look at where you're going and where you are and it never makes sense. But then you look back at where you've been and a pattern seems to emerge. Is it hard? Not if you have the right attitudes. It's having the right attitudes that's hard. To live only for some future goal is shallow. It's the sides of the mountain that sustain life, not the top. If someone's ungrateful and you tell him he's ungrateful, okay, you've called him a name. You haven't solved anything. We take a handful of sand from the endless landscape of awareness around us and call that handful of sand the world. The real purpose of the scientific method is to make sure nature hasn't misled you into thinking you know something you actually don't know. The only Zen you find on tops of mountains is the Zen you bring there. You want to know how to paint a perfect painting? It's easy. Make yourself perfect and then just paint naturally. When analytic thought, the knife, is applied to experience, something is always killed in the process. And what is good, Phaedrus? And what is not good? Need we ask anyone to tell us these things? What makes his world so hard to see clearly is not its strangeness but its usualness. Familiarity can blind you too. In the high country of the mind one has to become adjusted to the thinner air of uncertainty. To live only for some future goal is shallow. It's the sides of the mountain which sustain life, not the top. Here's where things grow. When you want to hurry something, that means you no longer care about it and want to get on to other things. If your mind is truly, profoundly stuck, then it might be much better off than when it was loaded with ideas.